but it does have kind of a big design flaw. If uh, everything isn't weighted properly. Hi, I am Nikki Clements, and I used to make stuff like this. This is a uh, collapsible, portable clothing rack. Top goes down, separates in the middle, bottom goes down, quite portable. Which is great because I like to take it with us when we go camping. We usually go camping around this time every year and we do it up at the Renaissance Festival. So that means we actually have several costumes in tow because, because like any good goer to a Renaissance Festival, we dress up. Now these are pretty nice costumes and they're not something you just wanna shove in a suitcase. So bringing along something you can hang them up on is pretty handy. Now, this thing works fairly well and it can hold a fair amount of clothing, but it does have one kind of big design flaw and that's if you don't evenly distribute the clothes around it, well, Also, where it connects in the middle is a pretty weak point and it, it wiggles. So the whole thing wobbles quite a bit. And if it's gonna break anywhere, it's definitely gonna break here first. So it's just, it's not that great, especially for what I'm using it for. So I'm just gonna make something myself and I'm not gonna try and duplicate this design in any way. We can obviously see that it's kind of poorly thought out. So I'm just gonna go back to the traditional clothing rod with two supports on each side. We're gonna make that with PVC. This is a 10 foot piece of one and a half inch PVC. I figured this size is a decent thickness to where it'll be sturdy, um, both up and down and vertical. Yet it still should be small enough to go. Well, not these. But it still should be small enough to fit your average size hanger. Barely, but it fits. And I went with the uh, 10 foot because you can either buy five feet for three bucks or 10 feet for four bucks. So obviously I took the worst deal. And I do think I'm just going to cut it right in half at five feet. So that'll be just about the same height as this one. And that might work out okay, especially once the adapters for the leg and the 90 for the top are on. Uh, if not, I feel it does need to be taller. I have some couplers and I can increase the length a bit more. Obviously, it'd be better just to have it all one solid piece without the coupler, but just going up another foot or so shouldn't be that big a deal. And then that way I don't have to buy three chunks of pipe. I should be able to get everything out of just two 10 foot pieces. For the leg span, six feet left. Is a whole foot too wide? Like three, maybe just nine inches. Well, that works. So my, uh, so the width of my uh, chop saw fence here is precisely nine inches. So I don't even really have to set up a stop block. All right, that's essentially the whole project. I mean, it's nothing groundbreaking, nothing even all that inspired, but uh, it's gonna be super functional and exactly what I need. So I guess let's start just putting it together and seeing how well it all, it all works. So I'm taking a T fitting with the feet we just made. Yeah, that's plenty wide enough, two feet. 
And then I have an end cap, which will should even out that gap. It work well. One foot, two foot, white foot, PVC foot. It doesn't even rhyme. Is this? No. That's my scrap. A 90. Plenty strong. These are our garment bags, and they hang off the ground at least six inches. So I'd say I don't need to worry about adding any extra height. It's I don't think we have that many clothes. I think I can probably just use this chunk even. Because there's one other thing I want to add. I have one of these uh hanging closet organizers that I thought would also be super handy when we're out camping in the tent. We have a really big tent, um, so something like this will work if you're wondering. So yeah, that only takes up about a foot. Right. Yeah. I can swing on it. Definitely sturdy. Oh yeah. All right, that is it for this one. It's super, super simple, but it's absolutely functional. I know you can buy similar things like this that do come apart and collapse, but this one's been made to exactly what I want. It's nice and strong. I can change it whenever I want if I feel it's not tall enough or wide enough. That's just what's awesome about PVC. And even some of the ones like this that you can buy, they aren't, uh, I would say they're not nearly as strong. I think going with a uh, inch and a half PVC it was the right choice. It's super sturdy. You can see I could even hang on it for a short period of time. Plenty of room to hang all the stuff we want on it. We got plenty of cool storage here for food or whatever else. So this will be great, especially over this piece of, well, garbage, kind of. PVC is just an awesome medium to work in. It's something that pretty much anybody can make stuff with. It's easy to cut, you can use power tools, or you can use hand tools. There's just a ton of different stuff you can make with it besides just running water in your house, which I'm actually gonna be showing in probably the next few videos as I have a few more PVC inspired and camping inspired projects that I wanna get done. And they actually are gonna be a bit more inspired than just a simple clothing rack. But again, you cannot beat the functionality of this thing. I am 100% satisfied with how this thing came out. Maybe 98%. You know, if they made like an inch and a quarter diameter pipe, that way the top rail would be just a little thinner and the hangers would hang on it just a little better. No, this is exactly what I needed. So my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nick D. Clements. If you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas and the D stands for Dalton. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. Awesome material when you see people walking by and you suddenly become self-conscious that you're talking to nobody. Oh, 71 people.